going to a portal right now. You wanna come in here? Yeah. All right, let's go. Infinity, forever. Late night up in my bed, saying you're thinking that this is love, falling for me, falling for us, babe. I love your love. Starting here? Yeah. Little meow, cruel for cruel for cats? Really? Lonely hiker for <laughs> The broccoli muffin. That kind of looks like a guru. Queen Annie onion. So it's like a special onion. Sandals looks like. <laughs> Want to give me some lettuce sandals? <laughs> Banana confetti. This can be. Oh, this is when you're tripping out already. This can't be happening. This can't. This is a great Thorn of amber dusk. Wow, it's a lot of money. What the, the melons are there? That's a thing, thing. Oh, oh, what's in there? Oh, what's yeah. there? There's a spill. Okay. 
Be like an underground thing, no? There's uh, the earth, the top, land, and then and bottom, yes. Oh my gosh, 
Please open doors slowly because I'm sure people probably walk or something. Oh my gosh. Wow. Bro, we're somewhere else. <laughs> Look, there's another. This is amazing. I can't leave it until I finish. Oh, this is the other door for this side. Okay, well, we already went there, so let's go here. Honor her?
carniceria. Ooh, look at that. Chicken. I'm glad we didn't miss this part. That's actually kind of funny. Mega Mar is literally one of a kind and super interactive. I like to touch, feel, and hear stuff, and it pretty much touched all the senses, in my opinion, in this interaction. And there's also a backstory. As you can see, this video that I'm showing you guys, it kind of gives you an idea as to what's going on with this museum and, and the backstory to it. There's a lot more stuff on YouTube that you guys can research, and it kind of takes you in this like mini rabbit hole of like understanding what she is like is she an alien is she a hybrid what is it you know it was just fascinating and and what's what really sucks is that we actually missed out on other more interactive stuff within the museum there was other portals that we missed out on we were kind of like in a rush my partner was already over it he was like dreading the drive so he was like come on let's go already and um so we kind of missed out on a few things if you go on youtube you'll see other like amazing like visuals that we missed out on so i would really really recommend visiting this place seeing it learning about the story it's really touching and just fascinating i love alien stuff if you're into the whole sci-fi thing you're gonna like it too if you love museums you're gonna love this it is a bit pricey last time we went i think it was around like 50 dollars. the price kind of went down 10 dollars less unless my memory is caca you know i don't remember <laughs> but and this is totally worth the price in my opinion we didn't get to visit the other installations and other like museums type of things that was going on inside there's a lot of youtube videos out there that explains what they have and what you can do inside area 15 there's so many things you can do over there you don't have to go to a mega mart if it's not your thing or you're not really interested in going there's bars there there's interactive bars and visuals and museums of other type of themes um, i know that we went they had the van gogh museum now they have it in la i don't know if it's still there but amazing i give this place a 10 out of 10. i was fascinated and i'll definitely i loved it so much that i would actually go back the second time to omega mart and relive the whole whole thing all over again because there was just so much things that I felt like I missed and I wanted to um, take my time. I would even go by myself, you guys, <laughs> or take my son with me. But hopefully you guys like this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share it. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. I appreciate each and one of you guys for watching. It doesn't go unnoticed. And I'll talk to everybody later. Bye. Falling for 